Screaming Demons RC, SDRC, in the shop tonight. I've got a bit of work to do here on my two-wheel drive stampede street truck. This thing's pretty custom. Uh, I've done <clears throat> another video on in, on the channel earlier. Well, it was quite a while ago. I did the lighting kit for it, and that's uh, here. That's on the inside. It's all it's extensive. Uh, you can check that out on the channel. Um, I probably won't throw a link in there, but oh, great! Now the body. Uh, the body pins were caught in the fan, I think, the uh, custom fan shroud I put in there. Some drywall drywall wire, I think it is, for a corner stuff or whatever, for the corner of doing drywall. Anyway, tonight I am installing this Intigy transmission, aluminum transmission. It's a used unit. It's complete. I'm going to be taking it apart because uh, it does have an issue. One of the output um, shafts on the diff here, uh, right, which side I think it would be. This side here, you can see right in the center of the screen there where the aluminum is worn off. Um, that is the side that's bent. So that's why the aluminum is worn off because the diff cup, um, for the drive shaft was wearing on the diff or the uh, casing the aluminum there and wore off the color the anodizing and bit into it a mill or so not a big deal it still has lots of meat still uh quite usable i got this from one of the crew michael funk from the funk factory one of his old rcs that he totally annihilated the rc and he wasn't into rebuilding it again and so i got all the parts off him and this was one of the choice pieces out of the build that uh I got and is going to go in and replace the stock plastic Traxxas transmission on this uh, two-wheel drive stampede. Like I said, this is a complete custom truck. I've done a lot of work to this. I don't think there's much stock left on this truck except maybe the transmission. Oh, and sorry, the Traxxas ESC and the motor in there, the Valenium and the VXL 3S this is not the waterproof this is so old this version this is before they made them waterproof get a light in there yeah this is not waterproof it is blue i know you guys will think oh it's waterproof it's not it's the original version and uh it still works i don't use this truck a lot it's just uh it was something I built years ago at the time I used it a lot there is a lot of hours on this esc and this motor for sure but i don't use it a lot uh you know nowadays i got far more uh, uh bigger rcs faster rcs uh you know more reliable rcs than this uh, it's still a great truck and i'm probably not gonna get rid of it it's gonna be a a shelfer that i use once in a blue moon to make a video for the channel and add a hop up or two to it in the meantime it's a classic vehicle the traxxas stampede two-wheel drive uh before they had the traxxas uh, before they had the Stampede four-wheel drive, everyone was building these. Some people even did build them into four-wheel drives. Uh, you go online and punch up tracks of Stampede two-wheel drive, and you'll see a lot of funky stuff. This one's a really neat chassis. Like I said, I got the complete lighting kit in there. But in the chassis, I got, uh, let's see, at the front, RPM bumper, custom uh, brace here I built, the aluminum brace. Uh, this is just pretty much a no-name aluminum uh, bulkhead in the front there. It's a nice blue aluminum one, but it's a no-name. Uh, RPM arms, uh, GT, GTX, I think they are, or G, yeah, GTX shocks, I believe they are, Traxxas. Uh, Savix servo, I can't remember what it is, metal geared. Uh, Duratrax radio box, receiver box, I really like these boxes, they were cheap. At the time, I think you might still be able to get them. They were about $5 back when I used to build uh, lots of these tent scale vehicles. So I put them in a lot of them. Um, they work great. Um, they seal nice. Uh, nice uh, O-ring, or not an O-ring, but it's a gasket in the top. It has a nice lip over the edge. Just works nice. Fits good. Screws down from the bottom into, the, into there. I'm going on about this, but that's because I like them. I used them lots back in the day. Uh, the chassis... I made myself. It was an old 1/8 buggy nitro chassis. You can see there's still mounts. Um, 
hold on, I'm going to turn on my screen again on my camera. Um, what do I do? I just, yeah, there, I just tap it, I guess. That's right. So there's, uh, you can see the old mounts for the old uh, nitro motor in there and there. Uh, all I did was uh, chopped off the very front of the chassis. It was too long. I drilled all the appropriate holes, notched it out where I needed it. I bent it up on the sides. You can see right here and on the other side right here, bent it up. And that was just to strengthen it. It was a flat plate at one time and I ran it like that not very long and then I realized, okay, it's heavy. So I started drilling holes and I bent the sides up and I just kept drilling holes and drilling holes and I thought it kind of looked cool. And it does. It, uh, and it's definitely a lot lighter than it was before. I probably shaved off, I would say at least a third, maybe even up to a half of the weight you know, by drilling it out like that. It's more of a showy truck and a street truck. It's not a basher anymore. Um, anyway, back to the what we got into this. Uh, uh, pretty much uh, Traxxas links. I have Traxxas links in the front. The nice VXL ones. I got Lunsford, uh, Lunsford um, steering links. Uh, in the back, I got Traxxas links in the top link here. Just the stock VXL ones. And in the back, I got Intigy um, slip, like these are the slip, um, slip shafts here. And they're really good. These ones, they've actually held up to three S power, uh, quite well. And the, the only problem is you can't find these ones anymore. I don't, I don't know if they still make them, but I haven't been able to find them. I know they're into G they're a good drive shaft. They hold up. I know everybody's always looking for good drive shafts. MIPs are the king usually but they are expensive these were quite a bit cheaper uh, back when i did buy them i can't remember the price but and then we got the rpm arms in the back down there we got the rpm cover we got traxxas wheelie bar traxxas aluminum wheels here well get some light down on there so we can see traxxas aluminum wheels here you can see those even with the rubber tires and uh we got uh gpm i think is gpm uh, wheelie bar mount right here aluminum uh, what else we got into this truck uh, on the other side flip it around on the other side we got um, over here we have uh, I believe that's yeah into G that's a motor cooler basically just takes the heat it's a heat sink takes the heat out of the motor puts it into this disperses it into the environment into the air right uh cools it down it does work you know it's it's actually made strictly for that vxl motor i believe too um what else we got we got the rpm uh dirt shields here oh, am i getting too close for the camera sorry rpm dirt shields there um the bottom of this truck oh and the tires are proline what were they proline road rage if you're wondering what those tires are proline road rage I believe they're still available like i said this is an older build and they're on um what are those wheels revolvers i think revolvers i can't don't quote me on that now on the bottom of the truck oh sorry scan scanning away uh we've got strc front skid plate which is a nice piece by strc get some more light on there so we can see that that's a really nice piece um my nephew actually bought that for one of his trucks and it didn't fit what he was building. So I bought it off him for cheap and just gave it a bit of a tweak. And because this is a custom chassis, so it didn't fit my chassis either. But I'm the king of uh, custom. So not the king. Let's just say I, I like to customize stuff. So I gave it a little tweak and a little bend here and redrilled some holes or whatever I had to do and made it work. And uh, yeah, so it worked great. Looks good. Uh, here's the bottom of the chassis you can see a couple velcro straps there for my batteries uh, this is an rpm skid rear skid for i believe it was a sla original slash two-wheel drive and i same thing again i had to do a little bit of modding it was mostly back here i think i shaved off some and that's about it i think and other than that that fit right on so, oh and i got the strc uh, pivot their bolts with a nylon 
nylock nut on this side instead of just the pins that go through that constantly loosen off. STRC makes a kit that you can buy all of them. I believe it does the whole truck. Same thing, don't quote me on that, but I believe it does the front and uh, the rear and the front. I got them in both. And they work really good. Never have a problem again with those loosening off. And they also make ones for inside the wheels on the, uh, the hubs down in there. The ones that loosen off constantly on those too with the Traxxas. So get those if you're uh, tired of that loosening off. STRC. Uh, look them up. They got quite a few good parts for the uh, Traxxas two-wheel drive. And, uh, and obviously many of the other RCs. But in this uh, vehicle situation anyway, they got a lot of good parts for it. So uh, I'm rambling on. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of outlook. Uh, what the Oh, and the body here. It's uh, really dusty. I haven't used this truck in a while, so you'll see there's lots of dust on it. I don't get too much light on it. Lots of dust on it, but it was a simple paint job back in the day. I just did a white uh, fade into blue. Real simple. Nice. Just laid out some of the stickers. And RC Hobby Shop. That's my local shop in Nanaimo here. Good guy, Matt. Runs that place. And... Uh, some of the SD Demons stickers on the side. And like I say, it has a whole lighting kit, which is really cool because at the back here, you can see there's a little button there. And that little button controls the lighting kit for what the sequence of the lights flash in. And it does a whole bunch of different strobes and, and different effects, uh, you know, sequence of flashing and stuff like that. I put the same kit into my daughter's crawler. Uh, same thing, videos on the channel a ways back check that out if you want crawlers over here walk with me boom 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 over here through the mess here's the crawler and uh, i don't know if you recognize it but the lighting kits in in that too uh and you can check back on the channel for that that's my daughter's crawler and i know the constant barrage of rcs through the shop here okay so Anyway, I just wanted to show you what this was. This uh, body is actually a Proline, oh, Desert Rat? Proline Desert Rat, I believe, uh, for the Traxxas Rustler, I believe. <laughs> Once again, it's been a long time since I bought this stuff, man. Uh, this truck has been on my shelf for years. Uh, I've ran it a few times, but I'm an off-road guy, and you know, I uh, you can see by, look at the dust here. You can see by the dust, it's been a while. Um, I'm an off-road guy, and I built this thing, you know, in the high hopes of I would use it on road, and uh, I just never get out there much to the road. I'm always hitting the dirt and hitting the jumps and hitting the ramps and just never find time for the street. So any of my local crew that want to do some street rallying, come and bother me. I got, you know, bug me. Let's do this. I got a bunch of RCs for the street, so... I don't use them a lot, but I got them. So let's do that. We'll do a whole day. We'll make a video. I'm sure that, you know, if, if you guys out there want to see uh, the crew do a street session, let me know. Leave me some comments. Uh, maybe I can get these guys to do some uh, rallying at a parking lot or something. We might have to even take a ramp and see what we can do with the ramp and uh, street vehicles. I'm not promising anything, but we'll see what we can do. Lay us some comments. Give us a like for this video. If you like this video and you're not subscribed, subscribe. Appreciate it, man. It always helps out. You know what we're doing around here. Anyway, I'm going to get on with this and uh, quit talking so much. But uh, I just wanted to ramble on a bit because it's been a while since I made a video. I've been working around my property here, working on the house a bit. And so kind of trying to touch bases with the uh, crew and my the uh, you know the people out here to watch the videos for the channel. Appreciate you guys all. Thanks a lot. Uh, you guys are the reason we do this, and uh, plus we love making videos and having fun with RCs. So anyway, hold tight. We're going to get this transmission put in, show you what it looks like. All right, we've got the transmission out of the truck here, and uh, it's just a stock tracks, this two-wheel drive. I can't remember the uh, what exactly they call this transmission, but it's been used in a lot of RCs for a long time in the tracks, this two-wheel drive line, and... Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get rid of this one and put in this nice Intigy aluminum one. Nice anodized blue one. Uh, came up from a friend of mine, one of the guys in the crew, Michael Funk. And uh, he was running it in a custom RC that he had built. And he pretty much <laughs> destroyed the RC, uh, bashing it really hard. Uh, 
but obviously this transmission it uh, lasted so I got it from him when he scrapped the RC and I got a bunch of other parts that I'll be using in uh, making a two-wheel drive rustler for my daughter in the near future here I had a bunch of extra parts around the uh, shop so I could build one anyway the only thing wrong with this transmission is um, this outdrive cup or sorry this outdrive uh, shaft here is bent this one here so I dug through my components and parts boxes and uh, found this this here uh, diff with some good outdrive uh, shafts on it so I'll take this apart and uh, salvage those well, at least the one shaft here the one that I need at least anyway I'm not sure if it's this side or this side it doesn't really matter I think they're identical so I'll salvage that replace that uh, check over any of the bearings in here that might need to be replaced it's probably in good shape still uh, I don't think Mike had this vehicle for you know maybe a year he was running it at the most so I'm sure the bearings are pretty still okay but I will go over them and uh, replace any that are loose uh, or sloppy and uh, and the rest of the truck is right here you can see there's the wheelie bar uh, just some uh, odds and ends drive shafts and the uh, pinion gear cover there's the motor and the rest of the chassis sitting over here and the tires over here for it so I'm gonna get this uh, put all back in together and get this uh, uh, get the parts installed actually what I'll do is I'll when I crack open this transmission I'll show you guys what it looks like on the inside and uh, we can have a good look and see if there's anything else wrong with it all right I got the uh, transmission apart uh, I took a little bit of effort because Mike Funk uh, as all good mechanics are used a lot of uh, well not a lot I'd say he used adequate amount of Loctite blue Loctite and it really holds uh, the screws into these aluminum casings well so I had to use my little mini lighter torch this is just one I use around the shop for uh, soldering sometimes on big wires or heating up uh, cases on stuff like that you can pick these up at like a dollar store convenience stores like that uh, about three bucks or something like that but they work really good little mini torch uh, heat up the screws and before you try and take them out or you will strip the heads of the uh, the drivers the little nut drivers the hexes um, you'll strip them if you have allen keys you're using you'll definitely strip them if you have good quality uh, wrenches i have some good uh, quality ones and they will even strip too uh, if you don't heat them up adequately so take your time or you will uh, be regretting that well i got it apart and it wasn't exactly what I figured. I forgot that, as always, Mike Funk never has anything stock. And he took and modified the diff so there was a locker in it. This is a homemade locker Mike made. Let's see if we can get to focus a bit better. This is a homemade locker Mike had made in his shop. And it worked great. Uh, being uh, Mike was running this on 3 and 4S, I believe, this truck. And it heated up the diff so much, well, the locker, that the, I don't know if you can see, I'm trying to get my camera to adjust, focus there. The pins, I'll flip it over, the pins there, you can see, they started to get so hot that they started to melt the plastic. You can just see the metal there poking through. And they're not supposed to be like that. So this casing is toast. Luckily, I have a spare casing. This part of the casing is still uh, good, I believe. Yeah, looks fine. No problems with this part. So this is still a good one. Um, the locker and this other casing I will be getting rid of. Junk. Uh, the screws here, they're good still. They are Phillips. I'll be replacing them with uh, Allen's. Allen head ones from this other casing I had over here. It came with all these Allen screws. I'll be replacing the Phillips with those. Uh, I was going to just replace all the gears with this one's gears, but it looks like that this diff had a, uh, a meltdown at one time. Well, not a meltdown, but a bunch of the gears got chewed up and are all hand grenaded, as we say. Um, so they're toast. I'll need a rebuild kit for this diff. I'll look online or hit up my local hobby shop for that whatever i uh 
I might just go online tonight and see what the availability is from like Amazon or eBay. Um, and if I can't find them there easy or cheap enough, which I'm sure I will, but if I can't, I'll go down to my local hobby shop and pay them a visit. Go say hi to Matt. Um, so what I'll probably do though is in the meantime, I have this transmission here. It had a perfectly working diff in it. So I'll probably take this transmission apart and, um, well, do I want to? Yeah, I probably will. I'll take it apart, take the pieces out I need of this. I'll probably just take the complete diff, slap it into the aluminum casing, and I'll have this one on the shelf waiting for the rebuild diff. And then I'll be using this, uh, this uh, transmission in the two-wheel drive rustler I'll be building for my daughter. All right, I've got both the uh, transmissions apart and all the diffs apart and cleaned. Uh, all the components are cleaned uh, and ready to assemble. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this diff that's all the good good gears, all cleaned, all put back together. Um, I'm going to put it into the aluminum transmission over here, and that's going to go back into this truck uh, with this gearing uh, right here. 76 tooth spur, and this 83 tooth spur is going to go into this plastic transmission, the stock one, which will be going into the rustler. I will not be putting that back together right away because I am still needing the parts for this uh, diff right here. I chose to just buy uh, uh, inexpensive locker for this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is when the lo I'll just leave this unassembled. When the locker comes in, I will put it into this uh, transmission or sorry, this diff. I will put it into this, and this transmission here will probably be get exchanged into another vehicle I have that is a two-wheel drive um, built on-road and off-road for on-road and off-road but I think it can have a locker and I'll swap the transmissions complete transmission swaps and the transmission in the other rustler I have for myself it will go into my daughter's one because it has the diff just a stock diff from Traxxas so um, and then eventually I know this is a little getting long detailed here but eventually I will get the locker for this truck um, depending on how that one works, that inexpensive one, if it fails, I'll buy a better grade, you know, higher grade one. If it works fine, I will buy another one of those because they were, uh, reasonable priced. It was, I think, what was it, about $14, $15 with shipping, roughly something like that. Don't quote me exactly, but roughly like that. It was from eBay. That's where I got it. Uh, uh, seller from China. It's uh, I just don't have a lot of money to spend on high grade parts for vehicles. Uh, I don't need to put them into. Um, I save the, the bigger money for my 8 scale and my X max. Uh, most of the 10 scale I don't really run super hard anymore. Um, you know I just I just have them for my collection and I run them because I enjoy running RC so much and uh, but I don't put a lot of money into them so I tend to go with uh, more inexpensive parts for my tent scales and save the hot, save the money to spend on the bigger scales which I throw back flips and big jumps and stuff like that and abuse them heavily so anyway I know that was a long description and I keep going on but uh, there's a bit of information I got to spew out to you guys so hopefully something you got something from that and if not well sorry fast forward anyway um, so long story short, this is all going to go back together. Next time you see this, the transmission will be back together. I've cleaned all the gears and re-lubricated everything. It's all good. I checked over the bearings. I still have to pop these bearings apart and lube them up with the uh, SDRC lube tube, easy bearing lube. I already did the gears with that because we use it for gears too. This transmission I haven't done yet because I'm not worried I have to pop back open anyway. So I'll just be putting it back together lightly just to make sure that I don't lose any of the screws and, and whatnot. Um, but anyway, I'm going to uh, cut this video here. And when you come back in a second, you will see this truck. Well, at least the transmission together, if not the truck completely assembled. So. All right, I've got the truck all back together. Transmission's all installed, the aluminum one. Uh, I'll just pop this body off here real quick so you can have a look at what it looks like. I did this, finished this last night. So uh, this morning I figured I'd get out here and shoot the last part of the video. Okay, so here we go. Street Stampede. Uh, we have already gone over the whole truck in the earlier part of the video, so no need to do that again. I'll just show you what we installed here. 
I know this video is probably getting fairly long. Um, I always have lots to say and talk about on my videos. Usually, anyway, um, you know, I like to uh, I like to have a good conversation, and let you guys know what's happening with these uh, vehicles and around the compound as much as I can, and uh, for all the local crew that watch these videos, it uh, gives them a good insight of what I've been up to lately if they haven't been out here to hang out and bash a bit. So. Anyway, here's that Intigy tranny that I got from Michael Funk. It's all installed. It looks beautiful. I'm super stoked on that. And uh, it's going to work great. I think it went in, uh, you know, flawless. No problems at all. Everything went together perfectly. It fit just like a factory transmission. Um, no issues at all. It has a few scratches. Mike Funk is, uh, you know, he definitely uses his RCs a lot more than I get to. Uh as for hours on them so it's it has some scratches and nicks but uh it shows that it's put up with the damage and no uh problems and no um breakage or anything like that and in the bottom let's flip it over you can see here getting some light you can see there's some little scuffs in the bottom there where it's all actually the anodized is worn off but that's all right it's all good it just shows it uh takes some good abuse there's a couple little good nicks in there but nothing uh, that's going to cause any damage or anything. And the whole thing went back together nice and smoothly. So I'm quite happy. I'll be getting a running video hopefully soon with this truck. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Sorry the video was a bit long. I'm a bit out of practice with these shop videos. I've been doing more bashing videos lately. So I'll, uh, I'll be doing a lot more shop videos over the winter time though. And when we don't get to bash out here with the crew. Because the snow and the rain just gets too much out here. And I'm not into cleaning my trucks and doing all that maintenance on the bearings and stuff like that. I run a few crawlers th through the winter, and that's mainly it. Once in a while, I'll hit uh, on a good day, we'll go out with the crew when it's not too cold and hit the track if it's fairly dry or something. But other than that, um, this vehicle will probably only be used a couple of times. And then next spring, I'll get it out again, do another video with it. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. Helps me out. And uh, anyway, thanks again. Screaming Demons RC, SDRC, we're out.